I do believe that economic development and environmental protection can happen hand in hand. We have a clear scientific consensus on the climate crisis. Scientists not only accept that climate change is real and is happening now, but that it's caused by man-made emissions. So we have a scientific obligation to respond to that, but I think we also have a moral obligation. Inaction to me is not a possibility. The science is clear and we know that the most poor, the, mo the most low income families are the ones that are going to be the most impacted. So from a moral perspective, I think it's imperative that we do take action. And New Jersey has a history of being a leader on progressive climate and, and environmental issues. And it's time that we regain that leadership. We know that there's actually a lot of job opportunity and a lot of chance for economic development if we do take progressive action for addressing climate. We can put people to work, making our buildings more energy efficient, installing renewable energy, um, and really getting ready for the crisis of climate change. Um, I think the real cost actually is the cost of inaction. And so we have a lot to lose if we don't start mitigating our greenhouse gas emissions. For the next administration to really be thinking creatively about renewable energy in terms of supporting an offshore wind industry in terms of increasing the renewable portfolio standard for the state, in terms of creating energy efficiency targets for our buildings. These are all sound policies that the next governor can implement. And it'll begin to take us in the right direction on climate.